Good morning, everyone. This is the start to our day one. I have to shit so bad. <laughs> Daryl's gotta go. I gotta go. Anthony's in there right now. He's obviously gotta go. Hank's sitting here and he's all proud of himself, I guess. He but you, you got you. He went. <laughs> you gotta see this. We wake up to this site outside of our hotel this morning. It is hilarious. So, father in law's got his sweet little camper set up behind his motorcycle. And you just kind of view over here, and you got three dudes sleeping outside, beside their vehicles. Two in cots and one in a lawn chair. So, that's how this day's starting out. <laughs> this lady here. Does not seem very impressed with this whole situation here. <laughs> I guess she's not used to seeing that when she wakes up in the morning. Hey, in here. Well, that's hers. No. That's a lot of ice. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> what you doing? back to the track here for day one we don't know what's happening but we got everything in the trailer that we think we need probably maybe maybe We're all in high <laughs> spirits. yeah look at how high our spirits are if, if spirits was an emoji <laughs> so anyway that's our day so far <laughs> so we're gonna go get in the gravel pit area there with our setup here and Get ready to make a pass whenever they finally open that up. We're here pretty early though, so we're gonna have to wait a bit. Yeah. to get called up we're gonna go ahead and watch some class A's run through see how these guys do see how the tracks holding up remember vehicle
have, and it doesn't include the vehicles, right? Look at this. break now again for a bit. Alright, well you saw that Ranger. Left a bunch of water all over the track there. Uh, buddy, the reason being he blew up. Uh, probably destroyed a head or a head gasket pushed a lot of water through. It sounds like right now they're actually going to tear a head off and check it out and see if they can't repair it. Wild. All right, so what we did is we pulled out uh, two degrees timing out of his car. So he can hopefully run a 750 something. Uh, he's in the staging range right now, letting it warm up and we should be ready for a for pass. We'll see what happens here. first lever back it wasn't quite in first it was actually in second so it did the one to two shift automatically um, so it short shifted by like uh, well we normally shift at 7200 and uh, it shifted at 59 ish or something so way short shifted plus we pulled the two degrees so that's why I slowed down so much uh, so yeah we're gonna make another pass and we'll try that again so just taking a look at that head from the Ranger Wow. Like every every hole. Every hole has some. Oh, that's so unfortunate. You're gonna throw a little TV weld on that. Yeah. Get her half flat, throw a set of egg gaskets in it and it's the, the worst part right there, yeah, right I guess, there, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Looks like all the Manitoba boys are taking off now. Off to 
try to get this car here this week. But they made it, it's awesome. I came across that This is the most number two I guess for us here let's see if we can get it hopefully we land in the 750 range That's what you think? Yeah, did you see his time? Did you, did you see did, him run? Yeah. I did. Too distracted from the bathroom break? <laughs> so? Yeah, I've seen him run. This car is <laughs> How was it? Better than before. <laughs> <laughs> Are you bleeding on the thing? No. <laughs> Alright, so 757. Oh, that was a good reaction though, at point two. So, yeah, Edmonton bound? Yep. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so we're going to roll with that. 757 with a 0.2 on the reaction side. So I guess that'll end up at a 7.7 .7 total, I guess. So yeah, we're going to pack up and start driving. Okay, just like that after a long day, we're, uh, we're loaded up, ready to go. So we're going to get some fuel. We got our map. And we're gone. At least I can see the trailer here now. Yeah. Truck and the train, they're a lot wider. It's a lot harder to see. And there's actually a lot of people still here. What's the time even, do you know? It would be... Two o'clock. Two o'clock? Oh, that's not even that bad. Other than the fact we got to drive a long ways. So, day one. Google Maps, Saskatchewan International Raceway to Gold Horse Casino, and then Gold Horse Casino to the hotel. So I guess that's pretty straightforward. Sweet.
So we made it to uh, the battle forts, fueled up, use the bathroom. There, I should have zoomed in for that one. So I guess we we're getting cocky and we had some issues. Fuel pressure dropped off the map, trying to figure it out. And uh, this thing here, fuel filter is just completely plugged. That's just the pre-filter, but it was just loaded. Yeah, so we'll see if this fixes our problem. All right, so after we, uh, Anthony cleaned out that fuel filter there, the pre-filter. Um, we seem to be good to go. I should have recorded that, but yeah, this thing's uh, definitely torquey. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the checkpoint. You have engineer hat man over here. I have one too. <laughs> I just didn't bring a witch. But yeah, we made it to uh, whatever it's called, Gold Horse Casino. We got... Uh, just cruising car club or something over here in the background too but uh man there's some beautiful cars out here like just everywhere gmc terrain even you know it's just beautiful but uh yeah as you saw we had that one issue with the fuel filter plugging up other than that we seem to be good to go so we'll check in get our pictures whatever and then we still got another how far is it to miss you yet Alright, so about 276 two, kilometers. 
276 kilometers left to go and then we're at the hotel I think so yeah see how it goes so I just you know at this check stop this beautiful Nova here this is something I haven't seen before in person looks like an LS deal with twin superchargers on there some torque storms that's really really cool How's the how's the view? It's a view. <laughs> is it is it bright enough? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The camera's probably plenty bright, but I'm not. <laughs> no, but you've been looking at hot Filipinos all evening. <laughs> <laughs> the men. <laughs> There's some truth to that. <laughs> so, okay, I don't I don't even know where we're at in this video anymore. Everything got all messed up <laughs> it, we, we went from saskatoon to <laughs> niski 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 and it was supposed to take us like six hours and somehow it took us like nine or something like that god still guys rolling in though that's cool so anyway i don't even know where it's it's late it's past midnight it took us so long to get here i don't know why we had fuel issues to start. All right, so anyway, the distractions have left. We had, we had fuel issues with the car. Uh, the regulator, well, actually first, you saw that the regular, the post pre-filter, I can't talk. The pre-filter was shoved full of trash, so we got that fixed. And we continued to have fuel issues after that which turned out to be a fuel pressure regulator giving us issues. And I think the little, um, I don't know what you want to call it, the little spets, the little needle, the uh, little nipple wasn't seating all the way. So it was bypassing more fuel than what it should. So our fuel pressure kept dropping and making the tune way out of whack. And uh, we just could not repair it on the side of the road. We had uh, a different fuel pressure regulator with, but we didn't have enough fuel fittings to swap them out because they're different sizes and stuff so that was just a big old headache so we had to stop a bunch for that and uh yeah so anyway we limped it to the hotel here we're here we're in this queue and uh on the journey we met some interesting people as they were talking about this hot filipino <laughs> it was a dude <laughs> he was checking out anthony's car and he also is interviewing anthony and then that transitioned really quick to interviewing me on this car. And then Anthony somehow just took off. So, I mean, go figure, right? <laughs> but uh, he's interviewing me. We're talking about the car. And then he's telling me it's for his YouTube channel. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. What, what's it called? And he told me. I didn't quite catch it. So I asked him to spell it out for me. And I was searching it. Basically, I spelled hot Filipino uh, in YouTube to try to find this guy's YouTube channel. That's what he told me it was. Which it is, I did end up finding it, but you have to weed through some stuff, so I don't recommend it. Um, so that was interesting. Then we stopped for some A&W somewhere. And there was another dude there who wanted us to all look at his pretty kitty that he had on his phone. So that was, that was interesting. So we met a lot of interesting folks on that journey. Distractions. But uh, speaking of that, I'm just rambling on now because I'm tired and I don't even know what to say anymore. And if you're still in watching this video up until this point, dude, you gotta subscribe, you gotta like, you gotta do all the fun stuff because you made it this far, you're a trooper. So congratulations, you deserve a trophy. <laughs> so anyway, day two, no, day one in the wraps, day two coming soon. <laughs>